Here we go. Hello. Where are you? Listen, it's time you got hustle. Don't ever try hustle, man. Yo, you got the bill, yeah? No, you really left me. Yeah, of course I left you there. The same way when I came out the way to grab ya. Yo. Say that again. Listen, listen. Where's that 500 pound gun, blood? Where's that 500 pound gun? Where's the 500 pound? Where's the fi- Yeah, you're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. Get me. Don't. I don't give a fuck. Don't ever try to hustle, man, blood. Reality check. Fix yourself up. Fuck you. Fuck you, blood. I don't give a fuck if everybody's staring. Fuck you, blood. You deserve it, you little fucking bitch. Fuck you. This is what you deserve. You understand? It's really embarrassing, isn't it? The craziest things about these type of videos to me is always the fact that how did you even get to the situation with these females, man? That's the most wildest, craziest things because there's other, you know, telltale signs that she's kind of crazy like that. What's going on? It's your boy Web back again with another video. And, and I, I'm my mind is just blown, man. My mind is just blown because... But I don't even want to get into it before we even get into this man if you're new here make sure you subscribe down below we got some good content over here we got a lot of new things in the works so make sure you stay tuned make sure you hit the subscribe button man we're on the road to a thousand subscribers the goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer so make sure you share the video other than that we're just gonna hop right in because I have another video that has to do with the same thing but man it's it, this is ridiculous man that place was bomb Hey, yep, yep, I, I, so yep, I, I valeted over here. Okay, thank you so much for the food. What? Wait, why, why are you giving me a hug? Oh, thank what? you. I'm just, uh, I valeted over here, though. Oh, you parked here? Yeah, yeah, come on. We, okay, yeah, I, I parked I'll over here. In, oh, I already called me an Uber. You don't have to take, you don't have what? to me, right? So first, the, the, it's just so damn funny, man. This is funny to me. So first of all, you have to understand the company that you keep. That's number one. That's rule number one. As a man, as a woman, it doesn't matter especially as a man though because as men historically traditionally we're always looked at the people who are the providers we look at the the men are the choosers we're the one that choose our wife we're the ones that go out there to go get what we want whatever the case may be but more so than that you have to be a, a, a self-aware person you have to know with the people that you're dealing with because at the end of the day i'm convinced that you cannot be mad at the females in this situation you have to be mad at the dudes they're not socially calibrated enough to understand the, the the social you know company that you're keep they're keeping their friends their colleagues acquaintances whatever the case may be they don't know any better it's the most ridiculous thing how are you able to take a girl on a date how are you able to oh let me talk to my friend my dude friend girlfriend whatever the case may be and not know how they are people present themselves directly to you right in front of your face you have to understand that and that's why i always say if you give them an inch they'll take a mile if you're starting to act goofy i'm not saying that you can't be goofy with your girlfriend or the girl that you're dating or whatever the case may be but if you're starting to act like a damn fool they're gonna treat you like one you have to understand this and not only that with your family and your friends the same thing if you're a little goofy guy your friends, your family, they're not going to take you serious. And that's why you get these certain situations where, you know, you, 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 are whoever, whoever, your cousin, your brother or whatever, or even your mother and dad and, and stuff like that, they'll start talking down to you. And even your friends, those people who are bagging on you, talking shit to you and thinking that, oh, it's just, I'm just roasting you. It's all fun and games. That's not, that's not your real friend. You have to be mindful of the company that you keep. It's not hard. And that's the most craziest thing. Because the only reason I'm so passionate about this is the fact that this has never happened to me, man. It's the direct opposite for me. And it's, it simply comes from the fact that who I am. I'm not a person who's just like tone deaf when it comes to social situations. From the get-go, whether it be back in the day when I was on Tinder at meeting somebody random for the first time. Or even... A situation where okay i met somebody at school and then we're gonna go oh get some food or something like that you have to be socially calibrated to these type of situations what kind of person are they this doesn't just go for girls but it's a big thing for girls especially nowadays when the, you know it's just a big thing with the girls but even dudes even your so-called friends 
you have to be socially calibrated to know is this dude in my best interest are we actually is he pushing me to do better am i pushing him to do better are we are we going somewhere together or are we just bullshitting all the damn time man it's ridiculous what do you mean you called you a hoover yeah you don't have to give me a ride i, I, I already called myself an uber thank well, you yeah, thank i mean you, yeah, you ain't coming you ain't coming you ain't coming with me I, my I crib? Uh, I don't know. Your crib? I didn't know we were supposed to go. I mean, I, I didn't either until you ordered that, that $600 meal. What? What? What do you mean? 600? What I do mean, mean, what, what you ordered? You, you don't understand that big you, old steak you just ordered? Yeah. And we didn't even get to see the salt bay, dude. So? So we I'm saying like, time, what? wait, 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 wait. So you you're really trying to leave me? I did have a, I had a great time. I we that were wasn't the thing. Too, but we didn't, like, that ain't the thing. Leaving. You gotta hear me out. That ain't the thing. I'm saying like I I just wanted to come. I know dude from social media, so I thought we was gonna come and you know I was gonna try a couple appetizers and stuff. But after you ordered the steak, this, this just this video just keeps getting better and better, man. Because it's so ridiculous. I I really don't think that the girls at fault because obviously. And honestly, women are just gonna do what they naturally do. They're always gonna be picking off of the provider. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful, I'm just letting you know. If I was in the situation where I'm the, t I'm the consumer, I'm always gonna be picking off the producer. It just, it is what it is. If I know I can get away with it, if I know that I just have that privilege because I'm a woman, because the consumer is pursuing me, the product, and I, and I don't mean it in that weird way, but I'm just letting you know, if I know that they're going after me, I know that I could finesse. I know that I can get over because they're pursuing me. No matter what I do, they're gonna obviously automatically, for the most part, and this is generalized, but this, for the majority, 60, 70, 80% of men are always gonna be bending over backwards because they're trying to chase that. I love it too. I love it because people like me, men like me, we don't do that shit, man. I never done that. I, I told you stories in the past. I got girls paying for me when we go out. No question about it. Not even, a, oh, no, they'll just pay for it. I would even know about it. Or I would tell them. I've had certain situations. I'll just tell them, like, oh, so you're going to pay for me, right? And not not even when it's like, oh, the bill comes. It's like before we even go out. Like, yeah, I got you. I'm paying for you no matter what. So I, I, to me, when I see these type of situations, it's ridiculous because you should be socially calibrated enough to know, oh, this girl or the, or whoever, they're not like that. They're like, they're, they're, you can tell. Like, it's ridiculous. When you're on the date, you can tell whether or not she's into you. You can tell whether or not she wants something from you. She wants to be with you. She's interested in you. You can tell. So it's ridiculous because the dude obviously is not socially calibrated enough to know that. He was just expecting, oh, because I took you on a date, because I paid for your food, I need to get something in return. We got to stop thinking like that, man. We, we got to stop thinking like that because at the end of the day, the way that I see it, you're the prize. So you should make them chase you. It's plain and simple. You're the man. Traditionally, historically, you're the one that's the provider, the breadwinner, the one making all the damn money for the family, for everything. So they should be chasing you. You should be looking at it as like, how can you impress me as the man? How are you going to impress me? And that's why I say, shit, if she's buying me food, if she's buying me dinner, okay. A lot of girls ain't doing that type of shit. So, okay, you're a step up in my book now. I figured you was really into me, if you know what I'm saying. Um, no, well, we're at this place where they have nah, man, these you don't amazing, get it, man. They have you these don't amazing get it. steaks. I mean, who do you think I am, Big Meat? You think I'm Big Meat? You know, what will you bring me here then? What do you mean? You recommended this. Why would I bring, why would you bring me here? I said I wanted to go on a date. We could have walked around, hold hands on South Beach or something. You know what I'm saying? I could have got you a rose or something, something simple. Don't make me feel bad about-, about No, Susan. no, no, no. Make me feel bad. How am I making you feel bad? Because I'm just saying, you're maybe saying we can go get I some hoops. I'm not trying to like, saying well, that saying, you should come to my house but I'm, i mean you could come to my house i'm just saying ordering. i ain't saying come to my house. i just this thought we was kicking done. it after that not just this this hour and and then we done you know what you just waste oh my time. god you oh you know what you're wasting you know time, what i got right? this let's let, let's figure this out right now my you know what i'm saying time out, time out time out time out time out time out time out come here come here
I don't know if this is a fake video or not because obviously he got the camera right in her damn face or he has some kind of sneaky camera, some kind of hidden cam. I don't know. This may be fake. This may be a little dramatization, little acting skit, whatever the case may be. But obviously these type of situations, these scenarios are real and they really happen out here. And like I said, you can never ever, I don't give a damn. I don't care how much women are going to you know try to finesse men it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah i'm not saying that it's right it's obviously wrong and i'm not just talking about females mostly men too will try to finesse other people but in these type of situations we're talking about females Fene females will always finesse the dude because like i said they know they're the product and they know the consumer wants them especially if they're good looking that's like the number one thing so they know, okay, if you won't have me, if you're not willing to pay for me this high price, then somebody else will. And you, like I said, like I said, like I said, you have to know, you have to be grounded as a man. You have to be that man that knows, you know what? I have something more and better to bring to this table than you do. So you should be crawling at my feet, begging me that I need to be with you. That's why I always thought it was ridiculous, the whole idea of marriage and, bow and, and bending the knee to a woman because it's at the end of the day, she needs you. I'm, I don't need her. She's not the one securing the, you know, the finances, securing, taking on the world back in 10,000 BC. She's not the one fighting the damn saber tooth tiger. It's me. I understand you can, well, you can say, you can rationalize it and say, well, she's the one that's bearing the children, continuing my generation, and so she has the honor to continue my bloodline. Okay, I agree with that and I understand, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She has to impress me. That's the thing, and that, that's the most craziest thing too, is just the fact that as a man, we can get multiple women pregnant a year, but she can only get, she can only get pregnant once. So like I said, as men, you have to be better consumers. You have to choose better. And not only that, you, not only do you have to choose better, you have to make sure that they're interested in you and they will do everything in their power to keep you and have you no matter what. And there will always be that facilitative force that you need as a man. Because at the end of the day, as men, we always have to go out there and fight that damn dragon, man. We're on our own out here. We gotta do everything ourselves. We have to support ourselves and each other, you know, a man and man, we have to support each other and doing what we ever, you know, what we do. Because at the end of the day, you can't be going to cry home to mama or go cry home to your girlfriend and your wife, whatever, that, that shit don't end well, man. Let's figure this out. Hey, how about this? Okay, so I, I, I left the tip, so check this out. You give me 250, look it, we gonna make this real easy. I'll Wait, unfollow what? you, I'll unfollow you on Instagram. You give me 250 and I'll act like this never happened. Yeah, this is just half of your This is not even, this is way oh more. That's actually way less than what I actually want from it. Dude, I really want like five. You've been begging me to go on a date with you I for know. three months. I know. And you I understand? just, I literally just you regretted it. Who? I literally you just regretted it. just told you, you oh my gosh. to go on a date with you. Do you understand? Do you, do you think that's going to, do you see what right. this is right now? You know what? It's, it I'm going. Yo, no, get say, get get out of here. You me. ordered the most expensive steak. You better get your bro. All right, I'm gone. Yeah, man, I'm convinced that video was a fake and a dramatization. But at the end of the day, like I said, that's a real scenario that actually happens out here in these damn streets, man. And like I said, they are not the prize. You have to understand that. I'm not saying that women are less than or anything like that. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, traditionally, historically men are the providers we're the ones that get shit done in the relationship we're the leaders in the damn relationship we're the leaders of the damn world you have to understand a woman has to be crawling to you and that's why i always say that i've never dealt with these type of situations before because of who i am because of what i stand for every time i've ever went on a date with some girl it's <laughs> they know how they know what it is off rip and what i mean by that is specifically when i go on a date they know they cannot finesse me. They know they can't talk down to me. They know that they can't run this, this, you know, double speak and try to get around certain things. I call shit out. I'm not that guy. I'm not that person. I'm not that passive ass person that's just going to stay quiet. That's going to, oh, there's a place in time. No, I'm not that guy. If I don't like something, if I don't agree with something, I will call it out on the spot. I don't put up with bullshit. And then that goes for men and women. Same thing. People are intimidated by me. People have issues with me. People fear me. 
because they know that I don't put up with the bullshit, man. You should have seen all these little experiences. I have to talk about them sometime. All these experiences that I've had in the workplace. Supervisors, man. Supervisors, building managers, building operation managers, all these different people had an intimidate they were intimidated by me because i know i didn't put up with no shit because i always tell you men from females too but especially for men in this damn world in this society that we live in if you give them an inch they will take a mile that goes for everybody it goes for your mama your brother your girlfriend your manager your boss your supervisor that goes for everybody if you give them an inch if you're just that overly friendly inch or oh just start bullshitting with them one day you start goofing around with them one day horsing around with them one day they will stop taking you serious and they will start trying to put you in this box where they think they, they control you i'm telling you right now you can't be like that now i'm gonna be honest you, you that doesn't mean that you have to be a damn robot all the time and you have to oh i have to just be stoic all the time i'm not saying that but at the end of the day you have to understand you need to make these people respect you you have to make them respect you. I'm not even talking about, oh, they, sh you know, because I don't talk to them or that. No, you need to make them respect you when they when they try to come off with that slick comment. And this goes for men. And this comes if you're on a date with a girl it comes, you know, co-worker at work or from a girl or from a guy. If they can, if they think they can make that slick little comment trying to talk shit or trying to make fun of you, you got to shut that shit down instantly, man. Because as far as I'm concerned, I don't put up with that shit. And that's why I always said when i was in college in the workplace or whatever i was going to take a girl out or even just dealing with my co-workers whatever the case may be on the daily i would never put up with the bullshit. don't get me wrong i can bullshit, have fun goof around just like the rest of them but at the end of the day no one's gonna disrespect me and that's why i said in this video yeah it's unfortunate that these girls are finessing dudes out here but at the end of the day who are you really mad at you got to be mad at the dudes you you dudes out there need to be more socially calibrated to know oh i'm not gonna let her talk to me like that because like i said not in that specific instance at the end but at the beginning of the day when you're texting her to go on the date you need to let her know like okay this is what i'm expecting or n not even that you need to be talking to her like okay you need to like i said you need to make her want you you need to make it to where it's like oh yeah like i need to pay for this damn date because i don't want to lose this man type shit. that's what you need to be on as men for me I got that from my own father. I got that from my own experiences. I got that from directly just being so caught up and, and you know, mindful of myself. I'm really self-reliant. I'm really in control, self-determined, self-motivated. I'm really about myself. So that's why I feel that certain way. And on top of the fact that I'm a man and you know, men rule the world traditionally, historically, that's why I feel that way. That's why I feel that confidence. That's why I feel like I have that chip on my shoulder because of those instances. But man, oh man, all I got to say is dating for me is real easy because they know what it is from the jump. When I talk to somebody, when I talk to a female, when I talk to some girl here at the gym or you know, when I used to go to college or at the workplace, they know what it is from the jump. I don't bullshit. I'm not the goofy guy. I'm not the people, not the person that would be fucking around and all. This. No, that's not me, man. That is not me. I get straight to the damn point and I get to have those experiences, whatever the case may be, that I like and that I want because they know that I'm not I'm not a bullshit of God. I'm not I'm not a guy. I'm not the guy that's spreading rumors. I'm not the guy that's doing all this wild, crazy shit like all these little frat boys or all these little beta mills and shit. That's not me. But anyway, I digress. Let me know what you guys thought about the story down below, because at the end of the day, you can always say, well, it's the female. But at the same time, it's the dude. He's not socially cal calibrated enough to know maybe I need to put this girl through some rings or she needs to jump through some damn rings to just be able to date me in general. My time is too valuable. She can't just think that she can date me whenever she wants or whenever she's ready. Let me know what you guys thought about this story down below. Make sure if you're new, you subscribe to the damn channel, man. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. The goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the summer, which is less than two months away. Other than that, it's been your boy, Web Man. Never, ever being finessed by some chick because I'm just too good for that. Peace. <music>